Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the government scheme session. See, currently we are covering Ministry of Finance, right? And we have already covered two important schemes that is Adil Pension Yojana and National Pension System. If you haven't watched our video yet, the link it is provided in the description box below, right? Now we are covering Padhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. So we will understand all the important aspects that are related to it that can be asked in your examination, whatever you are preparing for. So let's get started. But before that, to our new audience, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also join our Telegram channel to get the PDF of this lecture and every lecture that we provide here on YouTube. Okay, so see, if we compare the first two schemes that we have covered and now the, this one, the first two which is our APY and NPS, those were the pension scheme. What does it mean? That you will save some amount till you reach your retirement age and after that you will get back the money it will act as your source of income right but now this particular scheme which is Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana so here, so here see Jeevan it means life and Bhima it means insurance okay so this particular scheme it provides insurance for your life what does it mean that you will get a certain amount of money if not you, but yes, a person dies, all right. So herein, you will get uh, the amount of it, what amount you will get, how you have to do it, everything will study in, uh, in the further slides. But let's start with the basic, which is the launch year. So the launch year of this particular scheme, that is 2015. Ministry, we already know, that is Ministry of Finance, and it is offered by LIC. Now, what does it mean? See, herein, offered means when this particular scheme, it started, LIC it volunteered that it would take care of the insurance but then now after that all banks who volunteer to be a part of it they are now uh, included also for example we have SBI life we have HDFC life we have other such banks also okay but this particular scheme it was offered by initially LIC now what is the aim of this scheme to so see what happened in India if we talk about people are less aware of the insurances right most of us we do not have health insurance we do not have any life insurance and that is why to enhance the level of insurance penetration in the country this particular scheme it was introduced and uh, herein uh, the aim that is to provide a social security so social security was the basic aim because when you have a security that even if you die uh, there is your family it would not suffer there would be some monetary or financial help that would be provided to them then uh, you even live in a, a free mind way right so that is why social security that was the aim and who are the beneficiaries so see everyone all the common people are beneficiaries under this scheme and in fact the premium that is under this that is also affordable and can also be affordable by, uh, afforded by the poor and the underprivileged section of the society what is the premium we are going to study in uh, in a, a few minutes okay so this this is the aim and these are the beneficiaries of this particular scheme now let's look at the eligibility criteria okay so eligibility criteria it starts with the age so there are two important eligibility criteria the first one is the age group of 18 to 50 years so you should be in this particular range of years that is 18 to 50 to be part of this particular scheme and you should have a saving bank account because see this particular account that is uh, your of uh, Pradhan Madhuri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana that would be linked to your already existing saving account and the premium which we will study in the next slide that would be auto debited from it okay so it means uh, when you become when you join this particular scheme you don't have to think about when to fill the premium and everything like that whatever amount uh, that is for the premium of it that would be automatically debited, uh, debited from your saving bank account all right now let's see that what is the premium so see if we talk about the previous two schemes that we have covered that is APY and NPS in that we had to save some minimum account according to our age and we can in fact uh, add more amount to it if we want to right because that was our saving we can add anything to it and accordingly we would get pension but herein it is not like that. So what is the premium that we have to submit and what would be the risk cover of it so what does it mean herein. 
premium of it let's look at it what it is so premium so you have to just submit you just have to uh, contribute rupees 330 per annum so you just have to contribute rupees 330 per year per member so that would be on an average rupee one per day so you just have to submit this amount and in return to that if something happens to the person who who is part of this scheme and he was giving, submitting this uh, premium of rupee 330 he would get a risk cover of two lakhs for any reason means if the person he dies due to any reason and he was under this particular uh, scheme he was covered in this under this particular scheme he would get not he but yes the nominee which he would have written on the form when he was being the part of this scheme at that time the nominee that would get rupees 2 lakh okay within one month of uh, the accident that has taken place okay so this is a premium and this cover herein one thing you there is a catch of that you would not get any amount if uh, nothing happens to you okay if we compare the previous one that is apy and nps in that what happened uh, after an age you would get back the money but herein it's not the case you will only get the risk cover if something happens to a person okay and not otherwise now let's look at some other important key features of it and understand them one by one so see the first one that is the coverage that would be of for one year till the age of 55 so what does it mean that see that 330 that you have to give for one year so for one year that would be counted now you have to again submit that is you have to renew the particular scheme you would have to again submit 330 for that next year so that three your insurance coverage would be per year it's not like that you have submitted once and then you can you uh, you will get the benefit anytime in the future it's just for one year okay so that coverage is for one year and that is also till the age of 55 see there's a difference you can enter this scheme till 80 to 50 but you can get the benefit till 55 mean had you entered this particular scheme till 50 years then you can extend it to 55 means sorry you can be part of this till 55 but you cannot enter after it okay so this age of 55 because why this age has been chosen because after that most of the health uh, issues takes place and other such things so uh, the chances after 55 are more and that is why this particular age has been kept wherein uh, that provides your social security next now we are talking about that for one year this would be included so what is this one year so one year will be counted from 1st june of the year to the 31st may of the next year so that would be the cycle of one year that would go on okay and there is one so one thing when you will become part of the system you there would be a period of 45 days of enrollment so that is the gap so when you enroll yourself under this particular program till 45 days you cannot avail the benefit but after that whenever uh, you would uh, fall under the risk coverage you will get that or the nominee will get that okay so this 45 is the coverage uh, is the distance and insured can walk out of the scheme anytime so you can anytime uh, walk out of the scheme you just have to inform the bank and also you can rejoin it in future so it's not uh, something hard and fast you can just opt out of it opt in in it whenever you feel like okay so these were the important key features now why do we study it why do we think that this uh, Jeevan Jyoti Bhima is important because what happens see LIC it is quite in news because LIC IPO it is quite in news and what LIC has said that whoever are the, it's, uh, their policy holders and also the employees and herein they have specifically talked about this is the recent news in which they have that is not 20. 5th, uh, 25th Feb 2022 they have said that uh, whoever policy holders are under this particular scheme they would get some discount in the IPOs that would be soon uh, released or uh, uh, shared by LIC okay so that is why we studied it because this was in news so now let's have a quick revision before moving forward so we'll start with the basic launch year 2015 and also one additional that it was started from Kolkata so that was started from there now ministry is ministry of finance offered by LIC eligibility is 18 to 50 and also you should have a saving bank account then beneficiaries are all the people and if we talk about key features may a premium you have to submit is 330 and then risk cover of 2 lakhs that you will get apart from that coverage for one year will be done till age of 55 but you cannot enter the scheme after 50 but you can uh, have the benefit till 55 
then uh, this one year that particular this premium would be counted for one year and one year will be from 1st June to 31st May of next year then uh, this is, uh, the subscriber can walk out of the scheme anytime he likes and he can be part of it and uh, rejoin it anytime he wants to okay so that was all for today the homework that you have for now that what is the name of the scheme that covers accidental insurance coverage this particular scheme it covered the life insurance but there is one more that covered the accidental insurance and this would be the scheme that we will cover next so do tell me what is it the name of it and see currently there is one uh, offer going on that you will get flat 65 percent off on our general SEBI MCQ master course as well as legal MCQs master course and it is valid from 15th to 16th so do take opportunity to uh, benefit from this opportunity and these are the toppers of the last session so here in AFS I asked you about the chairman of PFRDA he said Supratim Bandopadhyay and he is right and he gave also gave one additional information very good AFS and Raju welcome and then banking okay I hope till now you have get the PDF see there is a, a gap of 24 hours from the session until you get the PDF okay so I hope you have got that and then Nadim he said the correct answer uh, the chairman of PFRDA Kiran said the right uh, answer and I really want to appreciate you Kiran because you are being consistent with the uh, schemes and you are giving answer that shows that you are quite serious about examination very good okay next is start the karo you said the right uh, answer and thank you uh, shivam said the right answer shivam uh, welcome then malay said the right answer pdc thank you and then shreya also said the right answer although there was spelling mistake but that doesn't matter okay so congratulations all the toppers so if you have any query you can write it down if you have any doubts you can co uh, comment it and i'll definitely reply and all the very best for examination and thank you